I think I'm definitely gonna get these. Play. There's just a big gap, but. morning guys I thought I would start the vlog here it's actually a weekend it's a Friday and the week has been so so busy like crazy busy I actually went to sleep at half past eight last night because I was that tired and I wanted to wake up refreshed for today because I'm off to Canary Wharf I'm gonna go shoot some content um, do some work and then I have parcels to pick up and then I'm gonna come home and chill for tonight and then tomorrow and Sunday I have back-to-back -back bridal jobs so it's been a really busy week and my parents left last week and then after they left my sister stayed for a couple of days and then yeah um, today's the first day that I've had to myself to get on with some work and not have to entertain anyone so yeah hopefully today's gonna be really productive and I'm gonna get what I need um, I'm just waiting for it to pass lunchtime because can I wolf lunchtime is just stupid crazy busy and I don't want to be taking content when there's too many people around because it's just gonna like interfere with the background and people are going to be like walking past and that so I'm just gonna wait till that dies down a little bit I've just finished getting ready I have a new foundation on and I'm sure you guys will see what this foundation is on Instagram because I'm actually shooting a picture for Instagram it's a campaign with a makeup brand and I'm wearing their new foundation which is super duper glowy and really really pretty I used to be all about matte skin but if you've been watching me for a while you'll know that I'm now all over glowy skin like highlighters, glowing products, that kind of thing like I always look into those now so I really like this foundation and you guys will see what it is on my Instagram it should, actually it might not be up yet but you guys will know when it's up so yeah um, that's what I'm doing today quite boring might take my car for a wash before I come home because it is literally really really dirty I've been on the road for three days of this week so as you can imagine the back of my car is just full of Aiden's food and rubbish and then yeah I really haven't been taking care of it so I might go to the car wash whilst Aiden's not here and it's a bit easier because I go to the ones where you have to get out the car and then they clean the inside as well and do a really good job so yeah that might be the plan of action today and also my nails not sure what to do with them I really want to get them redone but at the same time I'm not sure if it's going to damage my nails if I get it done so soon because it's only been less than three weeks but they've grown out really really quickly and I've got such a massive regrowth kind of space but it's not too obvious because the acrylics are actually clear so it's not like white or anything and it's not like in your face obvious but yeah that's what's happening today hopefully productive I'm feeling very refreshed and happy and ready to crack on so I've just been to pick up my parcels I have four parcels so I am going to sit and open it because I have some time to kill and then I'm going to show you what's inside of these parcels. I think one of them I ordered because it feels like the thing that I ordered and I actually ordered it like three weeks ago on Amazon and it's only just come. It took a long time because it was coming from uh, China. Um, basically I've got Aiden a, oh yeah that's what it is. I got him some sandwich cutters look how cute that is it's basically um, a cutter in a teddy bear face shape and when I'm making his sandwiches it'll be really cute to cut them out like that and hopefully encourage him to eat better because he's going through a phase where he's really really picky so hopefully that will encourage him um, this one is Christine Dior because it says on the front of the package I'm not sure what it is. Ooh. I always love the old packages because they just feel so luxurious. Oh wow. It's the um, new foundations. So I have six of the new foundations. I believe that the top ones are mattes and then the, oh, the ones at the bottoms are glowy ones. And I'm excited to try the glowy ones. You'd think that I would be all over the matte ones but because it's like spring summer I prefer my skin to be a little bit more glowy and it says DCC for 2019 Peter Phillips Creative Dior Forever Foundation with two finishes matte and glow 
and the matte one comes in 36 different colors and the glow one comes in 31 different shades so that's a lot of shades and it's 37 pounds which to be honest isn't that expensive i think for a luxury premium foundation 37 pounds is kind of like the average now and then i have this orange parcel the lighting here is really not that great it's like quite like dark but anyways um let's have a look what this is it's kind of like damaged so let's have a look what it is without breaking the bag because i've still got to um take it back into my flat without losing some of it oh it's bumble and bumble one of my favorite hair care um, brands ever and this is the invisible oil shampoo invisible oil primer which to be honest i already have that one um dry oil finishing spray that's totally up my alley that's something that i would definitely use anyways i use all of their stuff <laughs> everything that they uh, send me or i have from the brand i use it and um i guess my favorite hair care line hair care line no a uh, line from this hair care brand is the thickening one i use it all the time and this one is the invisible oil conditioner and i have this which i actually have on my hair right now it's the invisible oil itself i put this on uh, my damp hair and then this is the invisible oil hair mask oh for dry to very dry hair so that is totally me again and then this one is by drunk elephant but i actually need scissors to open this one so i might actually i can use my keys let's get my keys good thinking batman oh shit doesn't seem to open like my keys are not sharp enough try this one no i can't open that one so i'm gonna just leave it until i get home because i'm not about to hurt myself when i've got stuff to do today so i'll see you soon side tracked from working <laughs> i just popped into sarah just to have a quick browse because i haven't been to sarah for ages and i just came across these two pairs of shoes that i'm absolutely in love with these are just some sliders flats and it's like a um crock finish and then these are just gorgeous these are white sandals and both of them are not that expensive this one is uh, 30 pounds which i think is okay for sarah and then these sliders are 26 pounds so yeah i think i'm definitely gonna get these but then these i'm gonna try them on and see so i actually came in for some black smart trousers and i've just picked these up um they fit quite well apart from this bit i always get this with sour clothing um especially trousers and um jeans as well like everything else fits fine but then there's this like that that just feels weird to me because it feels like it doesn't fit properly there's just a big gap but um a size smaller doesn't actually fit me so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do probably just leave these but i really like the hem can you see that the hem is like asymmetrical so it's not the same and then these shoes are a massive no because i've only just put them on my feet and they're already hurting so that is just big fat no this one is from drunk elephant so they've sent me a package and it says oh this is the new product that they've come out with it's um their slap sly um meant to be slay or sly i don't know um makeup melting butter cleanser i've seen so so much um, online about this and I'm so excited to try this because makeup cleansers is something that I will always use I'm not too fussed about the brand but when I find a good one I do like get really excited there are like three or four um, cleansing butters that I absolutely love and always use 
it comes with a little spatula as well how cute is that and also what is this is this is like mini thing in here which um my nails just don't work very well with things like this let's see what it is booster exfoliant sl refined so it's like a little exfoliating refined treatment oh gosh did you see that oh wait nope not, not working when i want to show you but it's magnetic how cool is that whoa and also in the box is a oh diptyque candle wow oh my gosh it's my favorite scent as well it's base oh my gosh oh oh i'm really looking forward to trying that drunk elephant and also um sunday riley are the two uh, skincare brands that i am really looking forward to getting into but i don't want to just dive like into it i want to like look up and research on their products and see which one is best for me because i don't want to just like you know go ahead diving in um when i don't really know much about the products i want to educate myself on skincare first and the products before i go diving in but those two brands are the ones that are on the top of my radar that i know i need to try also when i was in canaya wolf i popped into waitress um to buy a few bits and bobs i've got some soup and some pasta i came across this method hand wash i've never used a method hand wash before but it was on offer for 75p i'm not sure if that was a misprint or they got it wrong but when i went to check out it did scan through a 75p and i thought what because all of the other hand washes were three pounds so i was just like hmm and actually smell it and i do need a hand wash because my one in the main bathroom has run out so i was like okay let me give this a try but it looks really nice and it is lavender which i love so i thought i'd just pick that up and try it and another thing that i was on offer was and i hardly ever browse like waitress beauty section but i was just in there so i was just like let's have a browse the um lano lips was on offer and this is the pear one got it for six pounds 35 i believe um which is a lot cheaper than the original price so i thought let me try it and it's a good one to pop in my bag i've been getting really dry lips recently i think i'm just dehydrated i honestly do not drink enough water and that's my problem so yeah i thought this would be good to keep in my handbag good morning guys today is a little bit gloomy um it's a little bit bright if i come closer today is a sunday i didn't vlog yesterday yesterday i was feeling really weird for some reason i'm not sure why i woke up not having enough sleep so i think that already started my kind of like funky mood and then throughout the day i was just feeling really weird and there was like a lot on my mind and i just couldn't shake that feeling and then um i had a work i had a job and then i came home during the evening and then my boiler has broken down so i do not have any hot water i just need some hot water and yeah i'm driving to my well i'm not driving i'm about to um start driving to my next um job which is on the other side of london so it's gonna take me about an hour which sometimes i think is crazy because like you're driving from london to london you're still in london and it still takes like an hour or an hour and a half and that's just like crazy because for me back in my hometown if i was to drive an hour and a half i'd be from my hometown in manchester so i'd just i'm, I'm just like oh what sometimes london like oh um bethany just text me um bethany from hong kong hi bethany if you're watching um i'm gonna see her soon she's coming to london so yeah need to get driving now because i'm gonna be late if i carry on talking so see you guys in a sec what i'm having to do is use the kettle to boil water and a bucket so that i can wash my dishes because i can't have them piling up in the sink like i just can't there's too many i still got um all of this that needs to be washed as well i cooked dinner so yeah i just need to wash these i'm back with my little one so hello 
I think he's in a mood because he's um, quite sleepy but I feel nice and clean I just had to pick him up and whilst I was there I had a quick shower as well at um, Aiden's grandma so I'm like oh fresh fresh clean hair fresh body like nicely smelling um, yeah and I think we're just gonna go get some lunch now it's a chill day I have a deadline now and I've already done all the work I just need to sit down uh, find a place at lunch and then submit it over email but otherwise it's a really chill day and hopefully my boiler is going to get fixed tonight and Aiden's had a bath as well so if it doesn't get fixed and it gets fixed tomorrow night instead then it's not too big of a deal because we're both nice and clean now I just went to Pets at Home to get coffee some treats and I came across this it's a pet teaser so it's basically a tangle teaser but for a dog and it looks like this i got it for 12 pounds so i'm just giving her a good brush and it actually feels a lot softer well not softer but it feels a lot kinder on her than the normal kind of like metal combs that i used to use because those sometimes can if she's got like a knot it can pull on her knot a little bit but this one seems to be okay and so far she isn't like normally when I brush her with a metal comb she kind of like runs off and tries to hide but this one she's like she's going a bit crazy obviously because she's coffee and she's my dog she's a bit of a crazy dog um, mommy, but she's been trying to run off mommy, which is a good sign it's, it's, it's mine Debbie she's your coffee oh yeah she's your dog isn't she let's um let's see if she wants to be on camera look so She's looking really fluffy now. Good girl. Sit down. Mommy, I want to do mommy. Can you see? Yes. Mommy's brushing coffee. Yes. She's quite calm, so. I want to see mommy. Huh? Please. You want to see? Yes. Do you want to do it? Yes, mommy. Do you want to do it? Mommy, I'll show you how to do it. Yes, mommy. Yeah? Look. Look, okay, hold this and brush her. Aww. <laughs> She's trying to kiss you, isn't yes. she? Oh, I think she likes that. It's mummy. No, she's going a bit crazy. Her yes. tail's wagging. What does that mean? Tail. Tail wagging? Yes. What does that mean? Tail. Tail means she's happy. <laughs> I literally spent a lot of time this weekend watching Strictly Dumpling on YouTube, Mike Chen. And honestly, every time I go to sleep, I'm hungry. And then when I wake up, I crave ramen. So today I've made myself some Korean ramen with kimchi, lobster fish balls, tofu and spring onions. And this is making me really happy right now. <laughs> I really want to do a foot mask. So I'm just going to go into my mask drawer, which is actually in my hallway because I organised um, some beauty stuff in here. And I'm actually going to do one of these peeling foot masks i've used this one once before and it did quite a good job so i'm gonna do one now as you probably just saw it's basically like a pair of booties and you put your foot in and leave it on for about an hour although i leave it on for just a little bit more i like to give it a good rub so that the stuff really gets into like all of the hard skin areas instead of just letting it sit there I like to um really massage it in in an after an hour you kind of just rinse it off and then over the course of seven to ten days um it just peels off and you're left with baby um skin well not baby skin but you know what i mean like a baby um but you know what i mean like a softer skin on the foot and my feet are just manky right now they're minging and you know it's going to be summer soon so this, this is what i need to do not sure what's going on with my hair here like these little baby hairs just need taming i actually put some hairspray in but um it's really windy outside and yeah whatever don't really care today um today is a weekday just been to like a butterfly experience of Aiden. it was so funny because there's so many butterflies like <laughs> flying around and then some of them would like really like they'll get really close and fly past our heads and it would touch Aiden's hair a couple of times and he starts screaming and then after they've um, gone and he realises that there's no butterflies on his head and he starts laughing <laughs> 
and then he wants to see the butterflies and then when that happens again he'll start screaming again and I'm just like oh gosh and everybody was like looking at him because they're like children that were like younger than him happily just touching the butterflies walking on the road and then you get Aiden like me carrying him and he's like ah Oh, um, yeah, I shouldn't be laughing, um, but yeah. Got me. Then they got you. Just buying another new plant because one of mine has died. So this one's gonna replace it. It's 15 pounds. This little one just went for a haircut as well. I'm not really sure I'm, I'm, on. I'm, I'm getting haircut, you, you had a haircut? Yeah, she's nice and fresh now. I'm not sure about the way they styled his hair but anyways we we're only coming home so it didn't matter. he's going to have a bath later anyways I want to have a bath later mommy Yes, okay then we'll do that What are you making now? That one What is it? Seahorse Seahorse? Yes. Ooh. Just got home, Aiden got some um, kinetic sand so he's busy making fishes You making yeah. fishes? I'm busy, mommy. You're busy? Yeah. yeah. And if you're wondering, today I'm wearing these contact lenses. I've been wearing these a lot. These are Fairy One Day Dreamy Series. And I'll put a, a link in the information box to where you can buy them. I know a lot, a lot of you always ask me about my contact lenses. I've actually done a makeup tutorial where I try on all of my most worn lenses. And I'll link that down below as well to like where you can see the lenses and where you can buy them. So yeah, just in case anyone's wondering, so I know that I always get questions about it. But yeah, my face is so greasy and it's currently quarter to five, so I'm about to cook dinner and then probably I'm not just hungry, chill. Mommy. You're not hungry? No. Not yet, it's gonna take a while to cook later, okay? I'm not hungry. Okay then. And yeah, I'm just so glad my boiler has been fixed. So I have done the laundry and my clothes are all nice and clean. Tonight I'm just gonna chill and have a really nice bath and just chill <laughs> i've just cooked this for dinner i had some leftover um pasta sauce so i've made um gluten-free spaghetti with some um what are these called oh my god it's just gone from the top of my head but it's got a lot of these in and it's got um coriander in there as well and garlic and pepper and then on the top for the meat option i just um this is only half of a steak i bought a really big steak <laughs> So I've only made half and I like mine quite rare, like medium rare, but more towards the rare side. So that's how I like my steak and that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Simple, took me 15 minutes and yeah, it looks delicious. Oh, last thing, I forgot. I'm going to, um, this is a really weird concoction, but I can't have steak without mustard. I normally prefer English mustard, but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna use French mustard, like that. Yes, 